This is my daughter-in-law's 2008 Chevy Equinox with a 3.4 liter V6 engine. I'm going to show you how to replace the water pump on it. It's fairly easy. Uh, I'll show you a few little tips and tricks that, that uh, you might not know. First of all, of course, you have to drain the coolant, so I'll show you where that is at. Let's go underneath it. Okay. We are looking... Here is the side of the radiator, right here. And here is the drain valve right here. What you need to do is twist that like you're unscrewing it. And this one was stuck a little bit, but I could turn it 90 degrees and this was pointing straight up. And then you have to pull out on it. And it was kind of stuck, but anyway, I got a good sized pair of pliers on it. And of course it's plastic, so be careful with it. And got it pulled out and it's gonna drain out of this nipple right here. You might want to find you a piece of hose to fit that and slip a piece of hose on there and, and run it, run your hose down here towards the floor and you can drain your coolant into a drain pan. Okay, let's go on top. Hey Huxley, I see my basset hounds out here going to help me. Aren't you Huxley boy? Okay, first you need to remove this engine cover. Eh, you may not have to remove it, but I don't know. It just seems like it gives you a little bit more room. You need to remove the EGR connector. You'll push down on this button right here and unplug that. And then take the oil fill cap and neck off. Unscrew the oil fill cap and unscrew it some more and this whole neck will come off like that. And then uh, it's, I've, I've got everything just laying in place. I've got the uh, new water pump in place that I thought I'd show, show a video. Anyway, this unsnaps back here towards the back and then the front just lifts off. Set that over there. Of course, uh, your coolant reservoir is right here. I've got the cap off of it. That's where you will refill the cooling system. I'm going to put this back in just so something doesn't fall into it. There we go. Okay, and then you need to take the air filter lid off of it. So what you need to do is unplug the mass airflow sensor. And I'll show you that after I get it unplugged. But there's a gray lock, plastic lock that you have to slide out and then you can push the button. There's a button about right here underneath. You'll have to push that button and it will come off. And there's that gray lock and it slides. When you're done, when you're installing it, you need to push that down that way and snap that back into place. But this gray lock will push this way so you're able to push that button down. And then plug that. And then this hose here you just take this little lever like that and push it and then this slides off like that. And then loosen this clamp right here. I believe it's an eight millimeter socket. And then uh, unclip your air filter lid. There's a clip right there. And there's one right here. And then pull your boot off. Trying to do this one-handed. Okay, and then when you raise the lid up, it will unhook from the outside. Those hooks fit into the air cleaner housing. And then pull your air filter out. And then uh, take the air filter lower housing out. This is a thickest bolt out here. It's a 10 millimeter socket. And actually this harness sets across the top of this. I just set it semi in place. Just 
to shoot the video. So I have to get that bolt out. I'll have to pull this up and get that harness out of your way. Sorry about that. And then this just pulls up. Pull the back up and then these rubber grommets right there, they snap into holes right there. So you just pull them out and unsnap them. Okay, move that out of the way. Okay, now I've got the belt off already, and I'll show you that in a second. But before you loosen the belt, what you need to do is, is break your water pump pulley bolts loose. There's four of them. I've just got two in place. Break those loose while the belt still has tension on that pulley, or that pulley's just going to spin. And actually, you may have to push down on the belt to make it even tighter, or this will just spin. Uh, or if you've got a little impact, you can zip those out. But anyway, uh, break those loose, and then take the belt off. And the belt tensioner is back here. This is my part of my special tool, belt tensioner tool. It's kind of an a, extension for my long handle tool. You can rent this at, a, at an auto parts store, but it's 3 8 drive on the tensioner back here, and there's not enough room right here to get a ratchet in there. So you have to have this thin tool with a 3 8 drive adapter on it, and I just left it there in place. But uh, what you will do is, I'll do it just a little bit. You'll push it to the rear of the car, and that will loosen the belt up. And then another little kind of a trick. Uh, instead of taking the belt all the way off, and then you've got to reroute it again, and it's kind of hard to get to down in there, and you might have to get underneath it to reroute it again. Just uh, what I did, it, it goes around this pulley like this, and then up. So uh, loosen the tensioner, and then with your other hand, slip the belt off, but keep, keep it tight as you're taking it off and don't let any slack in it and then drop it down below here and then I've got a wire tie tied on this lifting bracket right here you can see it around the belt so that the belt's just held in place and it's it's tied all the way around on the other pulley so you won't uh, have to reroute the whole thing when when you're going back together it should be of course you need to double check it but it should be still on all the pulleys. And then, of course, when you go back together, cut your wire tie, push your tensioner, and pull this back around on this pulley, and, and then you're good to go and recheck it. You might make a drawing, too. Made a crude drawing of how the belt routes, because uh, it's a little bit complicated. Okay, so you got the belt off. You got the pulley bolts loose, so let's go ahead and take them out. The water pump was leaking and it was dripping out the back side of the pulley. I could see it on the bottom. Okay, I kind of wiped it out, but it was all nasty and you could see cooling on the back side of it. Okay, and then here's your water pump right here. This is the new and I just set it in place just to show you. Uh, and there's five bolts. One, two, three, and one right there and then one right there they're five bolts and uh they take an eight millimeter socket and i use my little quarter inch drive ratchet here uh, i think it's a it's a 10 i don't know where the eight is right now but anyway to get in behind this motor mount right here you'll have to use that combination out here you can use an extension and uh, also, you need to mark, make you a mark somewhere. I marked this bolt hole right here with some white paint. I got a little red spot on it also. Because this is, uh, these five bolt holes are not perfect all the way around. It has to mount in one spot. So as you're going back together, if you'll uh, mark your new pump, then you'll know exactly uh, where, it, where it goes. So let's take the bolt out here. And you'll spit, after you've got the coolant system 
drains, you'll spill just a little bit. Well, I dropped that bolt. You'll lose just a little bit of coolant when you pull this off. You pull it off and out of there. Look out, Huxley. And then there's your housing where it mounts. Uh, it's got a gasket on it. Take a gasket scraper or razor knife and scrape the gasket off. And I even took some 120 grit sandpaper after I got the gasket all scraped off and it kind of shined it up a little bit to make sure there was nothing left on there. And that's about it. Just go back together. There's one thing I forgot to show you. Got Huxley. If you would happen to have one of these, uh, this is a clutch fan tool, one of three pieces. You could also use it to hold these bolts while you take the other ones, while you take the other two loose, you can hold that there and that'll keep the pulley from spinning. And then also when you go to tighten it up, same thing. So that works really slick. If you can't get them bolts broken loose, I have taken uh, two ratchets, two thirds, here, here we go. Taken a couple of ratchets with deep sockets on them. So you put both your ratchets on there and then take a screwdriver. I'll use this for an example. So you've got your deep sockets standing up here. Take a screwdriver, something like that against those sockets and then uh, break the other two bolts loose and then and then switch it around and do the other two. So I have done that before too. If you can't get those broken loose by just pushing on the belt. I think that's about it. Just to uh, go back together with it and fill it with coolant and uh, maybe drive it and check it for leaks and you're done. So thanks for watching.